The brain is probably the most unforgiving organ. What stroke is basically lack of oxygen, lack of blood supplies to the brain. So a short duration of lack of oxygen and lack of blood supply to the brain can result in irreversible damage. Time is the most important thing. Uh, the longer we wait, the less likely the treatment that we have is going to be beneficial to the patient. The motto that we use in stroke is time is brain, and this is something, this is a disease that uh, we can't sleep on. This is a disease that you can't wait. The stroke program has been, uh, it's well established. Uh, it's something that is recognized as one of the leaders in Canada and the impact and the benefit to our population is immense. I'm a neurologist with uh, expertise in cerebrovascular disease or stroke, and I had been uh, working in the area, in the field of stroke prevention for the past uh, 20 years. Well, I chose to come to Vancouver um, because, I, uh, first of all, I love the stroke program here. Uh, there are uh, amazing stroke neurologists working here, and it's uh, and and I believe that this is a this is a disease that you can only tackle with a team approach. The VJX stroke program is the only uh, stroke program in BC where you have a specific stroke trained neurologist on call. 24 uh, 7. The stroke hotline pager is a pager that we all carry. It says it's a number that's accessible to every emergency department, every emergency physician, every community neurologist or community family physician or any other doctor. Uh, they can call us at any time, day or night, uh, if there are any questions or concerns about a patient that presents with uh, a disease that is seemingly stroke or is a stroke. Every minute we, we waste or every minute we lost, more brain cells die. So um, the idea for Telestroke is that through a video conferencing that we can see the patient. Practically speaking, it, it, it feels as if we are there with the patient, or the patient is, is, is with us. We can look at all their uh, vital signs, we can look at the monitor, we can look at their cardiac status. No longer we just look at the patient and their risk factors and the time where their symptoms started, but we also very much look at how the brain looks in a real-time fashion, even if it's in the middle of the night. Is there something we can do? The brain defines who we are. Memory, personality, cognitive functions, being able to study this field and help patients with these diseases is actually very rewarding. We make a difference in their life where they gain a recovery and they, they, get, they gain function and they can be integrated into society. For me to see the patient the next day as a person who had come to us unable to speak, paralyzed, because of her urgent care that this person had uh, regained all or most of the function that they've lost and they had a feeling of how it feels to lose them and then regain them back. I think it's, it's just a, a feeling unlike anything else that you could experience. Uh, um, and, and, and for me that is, uh, that is priceless.